What's up, Baddie Army? Welcome to another segment of In the Kitchen with Baddie Twig. So, guys, today's dish was highly, highly requested. Yeah, you guys have been asking for this dish because you saw us make it in that video, that Instagram video where Instagram control our life for a day. And you guys have been asking from ever since. You guys want to see step, step by step. Step by step. And today that's exactly what you're going to get. We're going to teach you guys how to make brown stew chicken. Not only are we going to do brown stew chicken, but Craig is going to do his special pumpkin rice. Pumpkin rice. Yes. Pumpkin rice. Spice and everything nice. You know we just felt like we're tired of the regular rice. We're just gonna add some pumpkin spice to it, girl. Uh -huh. And just like, just spice it up, girl. Put some spice in your life, okay? So without any further delay, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so on today's grocery list, we have, first and foremost, we have our chicken. So normally we use chicken legs, but today we're using chicken thighs, okay? Thighs, okay, girl? Today we're, we're feeling thighful. So we're using thighs today, girl. And and we have our rice, of course. Our rice of choice is jasmine rice. And we have our pumpkin. We have a whole pumpkin today, girl. A whole pumpkin. And we have cabbage. We're gonna use, we're gonna make vegetables today with our cabbage. And then we're gonna add some carrots also. And then we have some sweet corn. We're gonna make that special, that special vegetable that Carrie makes, honey. Yes! That special gonna, coleslaw. Yes! And then we have, to our rice, we're gonna add our, our, a pumpkin flavored soup mix. This is gonna give the rice all the flavors and all the tastefulness. And it's just gonna attack your taste buds when you put a Like bam! Like bam! Like yeah, it's gonna give you that kick that you need. This is gonna give you the spice you need. It's gonna be very delectable. It's gonna be very yummy. Here we have some ketchup that we're gonna use into our brown stew chicken. Here we have our browning. Which is very essential. And we have some mayo that we're gonna put in our vegetable today. And, we and of have... course we have some green peppers and we have a onion. So in terms of seasons, guys, we're gonna use a little bit of adobo, of course. And then we're gonna use some black pepper. And then we're gonna use some pimento seeds. And of course, we're gonna use some onion powder, you know? And of course, how could we forget the time? The time. This time is gonna go into the rice and also in the meat. And it's gonna give it that flavor that it needs, girl. Ooh, I am ready. Carrie, I'm ready. No more delay. I'm ready to eat. Let's go. So Carrie is in charge of the brown stew chicken today. So he's gonna clean up his chicken and he's gonna cut. You're gonna cut it or no? No. I'm it's just gonna remain. Okay. So he's just gonna clean up his chicken and then he's just gonna season it and prepare it and then put it on the stove. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cut up the pumpkins and stuff and get the ingredients ready to make my pumpkin seasoned rice. I'm excited because I've haven't I haven't made pumpkin seasoned rice in a while and I like it. It tastes so good. It's so flavorful, so delectable. So I'm ready. So guys, I don't like fat on my meat at all. So I'm gonna take off all this skin, all this fat that you see on the thigh. I'm gonna take all of it off so I'm gonna start with my hands first to take the skin off and then I'm gonna use the knife to like remove like the fat all the fat that's on the side right here how much fat it has like yeah that, you have to remove the yeah fat. definitely that fat is not good for you like if you literally eat that fat on there you're probably gonna throw up and then of course after I finish moving removing the fat from everything then I'm gonna wash it with my vinegar Alright guys, so now that I've removed the excess fat off the chicken and I've also washed and cleaned my chicken, now it's time to season. But before I start actually seasoning and doing all that stuff, I have to get my natural seasonings together. So I'm about to cut these up and then I'm gonna add the regular other seasoning that I need to add. So guys, I see a bunch of you guys commented under, the, under our videos saying that we should wet a paper towel and put it underneath the cutting board so it won't shift because child, we've been having that problem in every friggin' video. We try to keep the damn thing steady and it keep moving. So let me try it and see if it's gonna work. Damn paper towel, put it underneath here. Guys, please let this work and put it on top of it. Now let's see if it's gonna work. Oh 
my god guys wow it actually did work this board did not shift one bit in a move none tall yes on a come out it's with the advice it's yes. still stagnant you guys are so smart now somebody else had commented and tell me what I should do to the onion so it won't burn my eye but I actually forgot can you please like comment down below and let me know again what I should do to don't make the onion burn out my eye because my eye I feel like I want to cry right now but anyway you want bottle? yes but anyways let's get to seasoning this chicken thighs mm -hmm. all right so actually before I add these natural seasonings in there I'm gonna add the other seasonings so they can settle a little before I add these which uh, one you add first I'm gonna add some pimento seed first. Why not adobo first? Uh, it don't really matter, but... Uh, yeah, okay. add some adobo first. But it's, I don't want you telling me what to do, though. Uh, right? But you're still gonna do it, though, because you know I'm right. Just shut up. Add the adobo. My youth, add the adobo. Season a so thing. Aggy. Season to my thing. So I'm just gonna make add enough so make sure every piece of thigh, you know, you gotta get in between them thighs, bro. All right. Okay, let me add some, where's my onion seasoning? Right here. Onion powder, sir. Same thing. Listen to me. When I'm commentating, let me commentate. Let me add some black pepper. I can correct you. No, don't, don't want correct to. me. This is in the kitchen with body twins. So I'm a part of this, Carrie. I'm the older one, so listen. Why you guys? He always come with his older team because he's two minutes older. Girl, okay. bye. I'm the older one. Okay. You being two minutes older don't mean nothing. Okay, girl. Add my pimento seeds. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. Let me wash off some of the time and put it in there. Not that into like that. All right, so let me just mix this round. And I know people saying that um, you're not supposed to like taste raw meat when you're doing a taste test, but that's how I've been doing it from I've been growing up. That's how we know if we need more seasoning. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go like this, put it right here, and then taste it. Okay, I need a little bit more adobe. Adobo. Adobo, why, keep when you, adobe? why you keep saying adobe? This is not adobe Photoshop, sir. This is not Photoshop, this is a seasoning. I keep saying I don't, a I don't know seasoning. Why, because that's the only thing I know. But you always say the wrong stuff from Rachel Roy to Adobe. You know what? We never used to use Adobo. We used to use um, Larry's. Okay? So I'm done. Okay, so now that we have done that, it's time to add the essential seasoning, the browning girl. All right, so first I'm gonna add, all right, first I'm gonna like put some in the cap and just pour it out on it like this, then I'm gonna mix that together. And guys, I don't care if it's browning or whatever, curry or whatever, I'm gonna get in with my hands, okay? We don't use no forks, no spoons around here, you get in with them claws, okay? Go in, okay, it looks like I'm gonna need another cap of browning. That's why it's called brown stew chicken, because you go in with the browning. Okay, so one more cap. Now guys, you don't want to overdo with the browning because, because if you use like too much browning, yeah, it has a bitter a, taste to it. Yeah, so that's why. So you just, you need to know the just the right amount to add in there because yes. you don't want to overdo it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and add my raw natural seasonings, AKA onion this we ever. <laughs> just dash it all in there, and then you mix. You mix it up, yeah? Mix up the thing. Just like that, It's yeah. a mix up thing. Okay, so I might need to add one more cap because the vegetable kind of sucks up some of the browning. So I'm gonna add another cap. Make sure say don't bitter. Cause if it bitter, you forgot to add a little sugar. Guys, this smells so good already. And by the way, guys, I am the stew chicken king, okay? Everybody loves my stew chicken. That's a specialty that I always make and everybody always loves it, okay? Just know that. Anytime it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, everybody wants me to make my stew chicken. So after you've done that, look how beautifully brown this chicken looks. I'm gonna let it soak for like, say 15 minutes so it can marinate, can sink in, skin bone deep, and then we're gonna start preparing this delectable, scrumptious, your affy eats meal. So meanwhile, Carrie's chicken is marinating and it's getting very succulent and delectable. I'm gonna move on to preparing the stuff I need for my pumpkin rice. And what is that? Which is mainly my pumpkin. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna de-skin this pumpkin and I'm gonna cut it up into cubes. Now, when it comes to cutting up the pumpkin, you want to cut it into a generous size. You don't want it to be too big and you don't want it to be too small. Because when you're actually eating your rice, you want to taste chunks of 
pumpkin in your rice. So it's all about the right size of chunks, of cubes of pumpkin, okay? So I'm gonna de-skin this pumpkin and I'm gonna cut it up into a reasonable size, sizes of cubes and I'm gonna get it ready. So guys, this is the size that you want your pumpkin to be cut up. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but some of them are going to be bigger than some. And don't worry about it being too much. All of this, you're not going to have all of this in the rice. Some of them is going to be going to boil out in that in that in that water, and it's going to make it's going to make the flavor for the pumpkin rice. So don't worry about it being too much. It's just the right amount. This is just the right am amount. Especially if you're doing like a lot of rice. I'm doing two pounds of rice. So this is sufficient for the amount of rice that I'm going to do. So guys, it's time to get the chicken cooking. So I have the stove on eight and I'm going to add some oil to the pot. You can add like a moderate amount because it's just enough to brown the chicken, okay? We're not frying the chicken right here. We're just browning them. So we'll put the oil in there. We're going to wait for the oil to hot a little bit. So say, leave it in the pot for say like five to 10 minutes. So it hot, you know, get a good temperature before you add the meat. So I'm gonna try to remove as much as the the onion and sweet, sweet pepper off the chicken because I don't want the seasoning to burn. I just want to get the chicken to brown. Okay, so there we go. Remove everything off of the pan. Guys, if you could smell the smell already. Ooh, ooh. Look at the steam. So guys, you want to let this, every part of the chicken get into the oil so we can brown good. And you're going to let each side brown a little bit. So you're going to keep the fire on high. On the, you see I have it on eight right here. And you're going to make sure that the chicken gets to brown good. So once as the, this side gets to brown, then you turn it over and let the other side get to brown, okay? So it's browning, guys. So meanwhile, Kira browning chicken, I'm going to wash my rice and I'm going to prepare it for cooking, okay? So I'm going to wash it there. No, I'm going to wash it twice. And then I'm going to put it on the stove so it can cook. No, actually, I'm going to wash the rice. Then I have to put the pumpkins on first so they could cook. And then I'm going to put the rice in. So let me wash the rice. So guys, after you've browned like both sides of the chicken, what you're gonna do is, you are going to add the seasoning that you had in here to the pot. Make sure you get all of it. Then you're gonna turn the stove down, say to like four, or that's like medium low, and then you're gonna cover the pot. And you're gonna let that stay for like say 10 to 12 minutes and then you check on it. So now that our pot is boiling, the water and the fire is boiling for the rice, I'm gonna add some salt to that first. I'm gonna add some salt. Mix that around. Then we're gonna add our pumpkin flavored soup mix. I'm gonna throw that in. Then finally we're gonna add our pumpkins to the mix. Just slide that in. Now guys, when you add the pumpkin, it might appear that there's a lot of water in the pot. But you remember the pumpkins have to cook down, so the water is going to go down eventually. And either way, before you add your rice and you think it's too much water, you just take some off. Simple. And then I'm going to allow that. Wait, let me taste this first to see if it's... Oh yeah, this needs some more salt. I'm just going to add some salt. Because it's really fresh. Add some salt. And guys, we're going to add some butter. And be very generous with the butter. I love my rice to be buttery and nice. 
All right, guys, so, and then we're gonna allow this to cook. We're gonna allow the pumpkins to cook. We're basically making seasoned water for the rice. When we put in the rice, it's gonna cook, and the rice is gonna seep up all these seasonings. We're gonna cover the pot and I'll allow that to cook. Okay, guys, time to check on the chicken. Ooh. So as you see, guys, because I had the cover on it, it already started to make its own gravy. But of course we're gonna need more than this, so I'm gonna add some water and some other ingredients. So you know, the chicken can be, you know that we can have enough gravy. So anyways, I'm gonna pour some water in this container that I had right here that I already add over here. Some water, then I'm gonna add some ketchup. I love to make my gravy actually in a bowl before I actually put it in the pot. I don't know why I always do this. But Craig, you do this too sometimes too. And I'm gonna add a little bit more browning to give it that color. Ketchup is very essential for the gravy. Well, for me, for us when we're cooking, it's very essential. Okay, then you're gonna add that to the pot. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir, mix up everything together. Make sure that none is sticking to the pot. And then you're gonna cover your pot and let it simmer for say another 15 to 20 minutes because you want to make sure that everything cooks good and that the gravy gets thick and nice okay so for for like 15 to 20 minutes okay guys so it's time to check on our pumpkin and see if it's cooked let me just grab one of them what you want to do is it's kind of smush oh yeah it's perfect you don't want it to be too soft you just want it to be just amount all right so now i'm gonna add my rice now guys, remember if it's too much water, you could always take it off after you add your rice. This might look like just the right amount of water. You, you're gonna need to use your hand, bro. Get all of that rice in there. Mm -hmm. No rice now we waste. We're not waste rice around here. We're not waste things span all around here, yeah. Food, we're not waste. All right, now I think I get everything. We wanna stir that. Ooh, look at this. Y'all see this? Get into this pot, Carrie. Y'all see this? See this? Y'all see this pumpkin rice? Ooh, look at the. Just look at the color of the of the liquid. The rice is gonna take that same color and just gonna be delectable and tasty and so scenic, girl. So guys, it's too much water, so I'm just gonna take some off. Now I'm just gonna turn the stove on low, not too low, and then you're gonna cover it and let it cook. Okay guys, so meanwhile Craig rice is cooking on the stove and my chicken is, you know, simmering and getting all that thick and gravy and stuff. Um, I'm gonna make the vegetables right now. Vegetables slash So sis, stuff. what is this? What is so, this? So, you know we normally use this. Well, this is broken and this takes too much time and energy. So I went out and got a food processor. Ooh! Which is We're moving on it. up! Make it much to easier. the east side, Can we I? finally got a piece of the you sound a man. Okay, sis. So can I finish start now? Okay, so this is gonna make the process much easier and less messy, okay? Because with this, I had like this all over the place and whatever. Anyways, let's get to it. So we're gonna get our cabbage first. We're gonna put he already has his, his, his vegetables cancer. cut up like this. Ooh, this is fancy. Down. Now we're gonna go. Ooh, ooh, see how easy that ooh. was. Ooh, it's a spin like a money machine, you know. Yes, you see how easy spin that was. Spin the vegetable, there, mo. Yes. Ooh. No, sir, but now like a food processor, you come out. No, sir. Do you take it, mommy? Say. It's very fascinating. Watch out, here. No, sir. A magic. You turn magician carry. I'm making it tell you. No, sir. The so food processor is still good. No, sir. It's so easy for you. No, sir. Technology does not take over the place. So. Look, guys. Look how good this came out. See, I feel like it came out better than how when we used to like use the thing yeah the i like how it's yeah i like the texture of it oh come through caucasian come through caucasian food processor yes girl yes oh sprinkle it carry yes that look good okay guys so it's on to the carrots wow why haven't i 
why why didn't we think about buying one of these from like 10 years because ago? Because we never know about it. I've been known about it, but I thought it was like mad expensive. They're not really that expensive. But yes, guys, that is perfect. Yes. Okay, so let me add my corn now. Let me just add all of that. Yeah. You still have more in the container. Oh, I do? Let me just add all of that, okay? Let me add some vinegar as usual. Then let me add a little bit of salt. Then let me start adding my mayo. Well, I did, uh, we did, I did a lot today, so you need to add a generous amount of mayo. Then you mix that around like so. And you know what I noticed? This consistency is much better than when I used the other great thing because this machine really like cut it to a nice size and it's not as wet as when I used to use the other thing oh okay oh how can I forget I need to add a little bit of sugar I'm gonna add two of this and then I'm gonna taste it and see how it tastes mm. oh my oh my let me taste it mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, that's good. Guys, you already know what time it is. It's time to eat. It's time to share this food and eat, girl. It's been, it took us forever to cook this meal, girl. And we is famished as usual. We is hungry. We're about to share this food. Then we're going to come back with the mukbang section. Okay, girl. Just look at this food guys. Look at this vegetable. <laughs> look at this brown stew chicken. Look at the rice, the pumpkin rice. You see the color of that rice though? When I tell you this rice is flavorful. Carrie, are you ready? I'm ready. Is your palate ready? <laughs> Let me take off. Hey, take off your ear, friend. I'm ready. We're ready for eat. I'm ready. We're ready. No, sir. Oh, this let me take off my ear, bro. No, no sir. Time for eat. I'm ready for eat. eat. No. But before we eat this time, let's set our grace on, on camera. Because the people that must say, we're not blessed the food before we eat it. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to do it off camera, so let's do it right now. God is good. God is great. Let, let us thank, thank him you. for our food. Amen. And bless the hands. Bless the hands, let girl. Appeared it. Bless the chefs, girl. You know. Skinny legend, go to the back. Fat bitch activated. Let me try the vegetable, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Creamy and nice. It tastes creamier than last time. Mmm. Let me try the chicken. Chicken tastes good. Let me have some of the rice. Try the rice, sis. Mmm. Mmm. My chicken tastes good. Mm hmm. This rice tastes good. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm hmm. Now guys, we, we, we were supposed to have the sweet plantain, baby. No, I'm so mad curious getting sweet plantain. I forgot. Or if you forget sweet plantain. I don't know because you didn't go with me this time. No, Normally really. we go to the supermarket together, but I had to work. So, I told Kira to go because I want to get back in time. And the boy, I forget the sweet plantain then. No, oh, Mr. Said, sweet plantain. Mm -hmm. Sweet plantain, baby. I, I, next time, I would never forget the sweet plantain again. That's supposed to be the first thing you pick up. Right, but I don't know how I forgot it. Again. When I was um, when I got back home, that's when I remember that. I know my meal incomplete. Mm-mm. That food has still shut up though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Pumpkin rice tastes good. You got the pumpkin rice this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So finally y'all get the recipe for this um. Yeah, all y'all was chicken. asking for this brown stew chicken. Mmm, 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 mmm,
A full cup. Mm. 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 That bumps slightly to my love. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, guys, Thanksgiving is coming up. I can't wait. Oops. Yeah, drop a rice for me in a chop. Let me eat it too. <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up, guys. I can't wait. Mmm. Food is epic. I can't talk no more. I can't hold it. No, sir. Mm mm. Mm mm. I can't even make the food cool properly, you know, sir. Where was my restaurant in a 2020? Where was my restaurant in a 2020? Mm hmm. When is the end of 2019? We, we can't make it happen. No, we need more time, maybe. Mm mm. This food is bomb, girl. Oh, 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 rest all right. Yeah, they're on the corner. The line. Mm -hmm, the line, yeah. Everybody don't want food. Food that was straight from me, so I'm going to jump in the car. I'm going to clap my mouth in my ears. Start that food, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm clap my mouth too much. That food is never that for nice, son. Huh? Never that for nice, son. Go on, bad. You want that food that slap, way? Slap. Okay. Why are we almost done with food? Because we're hungry. And the food is bomb. Take it in. No, that pumpkin rice will come out for children. Huh? But like I so, said, you know, you know, you know, all the way Shelly, I think it tastes better, so. It tastes good, Craig. So you guys are just already just in a mukbang. Mm-mm. Because we're eating all the food. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-mm, the belly. No more, a little bit more gravy. Just a little gravy. Put it for more gravy and I'll pick up my own. Awesome. I can put some butter rice, please. You want to gravy too? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit on top of the rice. Thank you, my love. This food is Irene. Wish we'd have some carrot juice. That would be perfect. Carrot juice? Ooh! With some candied milk and some nutmeg in there and some cinnamon. Girl! We need to know some carrot juice. Ooh, that gravy I said that. No, sir, Thanksgiving this second round. Yeah? I feel like one shababu. Mm-mm. Why are you in the Stop now! <laughs> really? <laughs> Why the food good? You have your plate, you're coming at my plate, really? You put my rice on your plate, too. You see me when I rice pot? People look at the food done. All right. No, sir, I'm going to slow down. I'm not going too bad. Mm-mm. I'm -mm. not slow down. Mm-mm. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm not have nightmare the way the food nice, my love. Mm-mm. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this segment of In the Kitchen with Baddie Twins. You finally got the brown stew chicken um, recipe. So you guys can try it at home. Make sure when you try it, we need pictures, we need videos. Contact us on Instagram. Uh huh. You could comment on the, this video. Mm hmm. And we will see you next time on In the Kitchen with Buddy Twins. In the Kitchen My with Buddy Twins. Talk in about the food. Kitchen with Buddy mm -hmm. Twins. Oh. Excuse me. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Okay, guys, we're out of here, guys. Love you. Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And girl, make sure you like this video, girl, and leave a comment down below, girl. Okay, girl. Okay. Right now. Body twins. Body twins. Body 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 twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body 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 twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body 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 twins.